sexy butt. What is up guys? I know it's been a long, long time since we vlogged on this channel. Basically, we just took some time off. Uh, it was just a busy time over Christmas, New Year. Um, we just wanted to focus on other stuff. And you know, in life sometimes you've got to prioritize other things. Um, what's been happening? We went to Barbados. We had a beautiful time in Barbados. The people there were so nice. Um, just gorgeous place to go and visit. I mean, I've been super busy with work and Patricia's had a lot of stuff going on. There's been a lot of changes, obviously, with the pregnancy um, happening and developing, which is very exciting. We're also getting some work done at our house, which will give us some more space, hopefully, for when the baby comes, which is exciting. The, there's been a lot of banging and thudding and dust. Could take about another month or two. Um, we've just told them we need it to be done before the baby comes. And, oh, also, um, this weekend, we're organizing like a surprise baby shower, birthday event thing for her, which is gonna be fun. She kind of knows something's happening, so it's not a complete surprise, but she doesn't know what or where it is or who's coming and so on. So uh, I've been running around trying to sort stuff out for that. I've been up for a couple of hours and still haven't eaten, so I think it's time I made some breakfast. Your man Mike, he's a chef in the kitchen. He's got his mm. beans. Is that the reduction? Reju no, he's got his beans. That's not, that's not what you were saying the other night. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, it's another stir fry pour. <laughs> Failed. Controller, the biggest. Let me tell you something about Patricia, right? One of the things about this lady of mine is that she, when it comes to the kitchen, she's the biggest backseat driver you've ever seen. Mm. She will literally lean over your shoulder. And take, take, tell you how to fry an egg. Another double one. Yeah, look. Look. In the flesh, this is the third double egg we've had in here. Weird. It kind of creeps me out if I'd be honest with you. Yeah, I'll have that one. Um, yeah. Biggest backseat driver in the kitchen. Loves to lean over and say, uh, put that on there, uh, add a bit more salt. Two days ago, Michael made a stir fry. It and was, it was, I it, won't lie, it was even, inedible. Even I won't lie, it was horrible. <laughs> it was Who it, jacks up a stir fry? Who burns a fried egg? Oh yeah, I burnt a fried egg as well to a crisp. So there's nothing wrong with giving someone a little bit of direction, but you know when some people just don't like to be directed? That's that's this guy over here. You know them ones there? So sometimes I just leave him to just do what he wants to do. Yeah, and then we all suffer the consequences of when he eats his stir fry and he goes, ugh, this doesn't taste that nice. And I go, maybe you should have listened to me then. Say when. That's enough, I don't want that much beans to be honest with you. So, um, we just literally had breakfast and I thought it would be good to share like a couple of stories over the last few weeks and mm. months because obviously we haven't vlogged and stuff. Mm. And then I wanted to give you guys the lowdown on like how I found out I was pregnant, how I told Michael and stuff. I have to be real, there is no dramatic or amazing story. And sadly, I can't- I thought it was very- no, babe, remember the day, mate, remember the day. So basically, I had a meeting. Um, so we had come back from New York. Oh. We had come back from New York, babe. Oh, after the Hamptons. We went to the Hamptons yeah. and then... Um... We didn't know. Oh, the funny thing is, actually, just yeah. before we found out about the wonderful news, uh, Patricia had been getting really tired and kept sleeping in the day and kept taking <laughs> naps. And it was really starting to piss me off because I was like, why is this girl just sleeping the whole time? <laughs> so like, I get it, you make you work, but... She was just napping, always napping. Every time we went anywhere, I'm sleeping. I was like, flip <laughs> sake. You're just going to sleep your life away. <laughs> she was just napping. And, but little did we know that this was obviously in the, thir the first trimester, which is, from what I gather... No, like, baby, this was in the first, like, first month or but, Yeah, the first like month or so of pregnancy. And, of course, now, looking back on it, I feel, ooh, that was a bit bit harsh because he was a bit no. he was real harsh it got to the point where i was like do we need to see a doctor like have you got some like iron is that deficiency? what you think oh oh my gosh yes uh, yes yes i was thinking that there was something sorry i get so excited i was thinking there was something wrong with me yeah like i was thinking sort of maybe deficiency. iron deficiency and then, and i was thinking maybe i've got diabetes because i kept, kept... <laughs> 
the only logical explanation. <laughs> no, because... Had I... a few naps. Hmm, diabetes. No, 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 because I kept going for a wee as well. And I thought that was a sign of diabetes because my dad has type yeah. 1 diabetes. Self-diagnosis. So I don't know. I was going to go to doctors and I was like, I felt weird. But pregnancy was not on my brain. And then Michael clearly, no, no, it wasn't in his brain. And so um, so he went to New York, came back, went to Maldives, came back. And then I had a meeting with uh with a sports brand and they were like they wanted me to Spawn. run spawns <laughs> sponsored <laughs> now joking it's not ad <laughs> it's stuffy oh. so i had a meeting with those guys and then i was like well i've been feeling really and they asked me to run 10k and i was like i've been feeling so weird let me just do a pregnancy test to get that out of the way you can barely drive 10k now and run it <laughs> Anyway, you had a meeting with the brand. So then afterwards, I was just because I was out and about, and I had a few other meetings. I was like, let me quickly go pick up um, a pregnancy test just to make sure that's not it. I don't know why I just mm. thought pregnancy. I said, okay, well, let me just do a test. I've done tests in the past, and nothing's happened. Mm. And have you? Yeah, I have, but I never no. really shared when I've had like weird like cycles and stuff like that. I'm like, let me make sure I'm not pregnant. So I was just like, all right, let me quickly take this test now because they wanted an answer at the end of the week, and I'm impatient. Went into basically a um, restaurant at my next meeting. I was like, mm, let me just take this test quickly and throw it out. And I took it and I was like... Did you buy it from Boots or something? Yeah? Bought it from Boots, Oxford Circus, tried it, um, went to a toilet in a restaurant and uh, that thing said, positive. I was just like, mm. this is confusion. How does this happen? And then I, it was the first time this has ever said positive and I was kind of dumbfounded slash perplexed the first person i did call was maureen um like maureen i just did the test it said positive but i'm not sure if it's true so i then picked up some others and i, and I was like okay i'm gonna wait till i get home i ended up picking, picking like three more and i just went on my day but obviously my whole day was confused then i took some more in the bathroom and then it was like oh okay this is absolutely real how are you remember when i kept calling you oh yeah let me tell you about the, when i found out basically I shouldn't have been that surprised because I did have something to do with it, if you yeah. know what I mean. But anyway, moving on. Um, so basically... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I anyway, just sip my tea there. Sips tea. <laughs> Sips tea. So, um, yeah, so I got. I think I came home from work, actually. And I was doing something and, and Patricia kept calling me saying, Mike, can you come here? Mike, can you come here? She was talking about something to try and distract me or to make some sort of thing up. And then she just pulled out the pregnancy thing that said positive and went... <laughs> <laughs> and just looked at my face and clearly at that moment I knew obviously what, what this was but for a, for, a, for a short period of time I was a little bit like Babe it was long! So actually when I, when I saw the, um, the pregnancy thing saying positive I was literally just silent I was, I, For about for, three minutes For quite a long time thing. I was literally just I don't know what it was I was kind of like gobsmacked if that's a word I don't know what it is I was just like but I guess it was just something that was completely out of the blue in terms of it wasn't something that it's not like you know in life usually you schedule these you know plan things and this happens there and then you're going to go do this it wasn't something that was specifically planned and so from that it was a little bit like whoa where the hell you know so um yeah. and then you cried did I cry you cried babe you cried I think he I cried. might have cried he did cry then he cried and then I I'm not a big cry I am a cry oh, I did cry actually. <laughs> Tears of joy. <laughs> got some footage that I did recall because I basically put the camera. Oh gosh, sorry about the light. I put I the camera in the corner it. of the room, um, and then tried to film it. But I, I was in a rush, and I clearly am not the mm. best vlogger in the entire world. Gonna try and use the bricks that you knock out of the back mm -hmm. to do the front with. What? <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it. <laughs>
Really? Mm-hmm. Well, could it be? <laughs> no racking. <laughs> Are you confused, babe? Told you, you know, you always think that I'm just being dramatic, don't you? You okay? I'm fine. But you always think I'm being dramatic. There you go. Can you, why are you throwing it on the ground? You knocked out my hand. <laughs> you can't <for> everything. <laughs> I did it when it all done now. <laughs> Be fine, babe. Yes, by the grace of God. So, now so that's the story of how we found, of how, well, how you found out and how I found out of our baby. We were having a little baby. Now it is time to get ready. Michael actually has to shower me because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if we, if we updated on the vlog. Anyway, for those who haven't found out or maybe didn't watch the other video, Patricia managed to break her fifth metacarpal bone, um, which was a real has been a real pain. It's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I'm sure people like lose legs and stuff. But it's been in the grand awkward. scheme of life, it's not that bad. But it's been really awkward. It's your right hand as well, isn't it? Yeah. And the biggest thing, well, obviously, it's really awkward for you. And so many simple things are hard to do, right? Yeah, I can't chop anything. I'm that it off. It offsets my balance as well. So I'm kind of scared about walking mm, into the bath. You're a bit wobbly anyway. To be I'm, fair. I'm wobbly anyway, and I'm scared of walking into the bath because I'm scared of falling. So now I've got to go and bath her. So. Shower time has been quite difficult for me. But when you have a helping hand, that usually helps with that kind of good stuff. And that ladies, if your man isn't willing to wash you in your time and lead, maybe he shouldn't feel bad. I know it sounds like lots of information, but you never know what could happen. And me and Michael we used to always say this thing, what would you do if I was disabled? <laughs> I'm like, would you be willing to do this for me? Would you be willing to do that for me? Yeah, it starts if he would wipe my butt and stuff if I was disabled. And he's like, yeah, of course. And I would do the same to him. So this is just what mature people do. Obviously, God forbid anything like that happens. But we need to know, you know, <laughs> just in case. Why is it going to be cold? I don't know. Alright, where do you want to wash? Okay. <laughs> my legs. Well, the house is actually starting to look a bit like a building site now. This here, they, well, that's the stairs there. That's come out there. There used to be a wall along here and going up there. That's all been knocked out. There's going to be a set of stairs that goes from this wall all the way up to the top. That's going to be all knocked out there. Um, and then up through there, obviously you can't see now because it's all boarded up. But that's where the loft is. And just giving us a bit more room and uh, be extra helpful when the little one comes. People have been asking how I do my makeup with my left hand. It just takes a lot of patience. I can kind of hold a brush like that. And then I just have to use my legs and then put everything in like the middle of my legs and like spray it on the back of my hands and stuff. So that is my finished look. I had to hurry up and get ready to go out the house. We are driving in Michael's car, which literally makes the most amount of noise in the entire world. <laughs> it's his favourite car. Oh my god. We are off to the office because we've got a couple of things in the back that Michael needs to help me send over. I'm going to try and film one or two videos. Um, we are on the hunt for a new car, so any recommendations? I mean, like a new a family car. So, um, hunt for recommendations before the baby comes. We had a slight mishap where I accidentally scraped slash... Pulled the bumper off the front pulled, of... Pulled the bumper off the other car. But it's getting fixed now, so... It was, it was an emotional moment for me there. Back at the office now, um, I dropped Patricia off here early this afternoon. She's been shooting some videos and getting on some of her own work. 
and I've been doing some of my own stuff, so we're gonna go and see her. I'm gonna go to the hospital as well, hopefully get this cast of hers taken off, which will be a huge relief. Finishing the office, cast is going off today, off today. We had a we got a little bit impatient and we unraveled it a little bit, didn't we? <laughs> We're like, let's just see. And you can see like there's like a a pin thing in there. So Maureen put my hair up in like a little bun. But I only did it for the video and then um, took it down and it gave me a nice wave because I can't actually do my hair at the moment. Um, but I've got a frontal one. But when she took it down, it ended up looking really nice. Work, 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 no, work. work. No, 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 work, 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 work. Hey. Work, 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 work. <laughs> That's all I can hear, remember? <laughs> oh, okay, well, well we're organising something. Just, uh, it's not, it's just, I, say, I call it a semi-surprise because it's not... I know something's happening. You know something's happening. happening, but you don't know what what's happening, where it's happening, who's coming, and so on. Yeah. So, from that aspect, it's a surprise. You just have to turn up and be happy. So, I made it to the hand unit. Let's go see what's going on. Go ahead. So, those are the wires sticking out my finger. Is it gonna go all the way down to here? Look at it, check now. I like the purple. Here's my cast. I'm feeling a little bit like an X Men with this. Like, dab, dab, and nine, y'all. Dab, dab. We need a tune. We need a tune to really like. Make hey, it. hey, dab, <laughs> dab, dab, hey. dab. I'm feeling like really cool with this on. Like, how nice is it? I've also got some black. Without crows as well. We may end up going to the cinema tonight. We've been to, we've been actually planning to go to the cinema for weeks. For literally a year, no, months, babe. I think literally the last months. no, the last time we went to the cinema was about a year a ago. A year ago, when we last vlogged us going to the cinema. Mate, where's the love? Where is the love? Oh, I was going to stroke you, but my hands a little bit. <laughs> Where is the love? No, we're going to go out to have dinner, but we're going to go to the cinema instead. So Michael's going to pick up some fish and chips. I'm going to make a salad in the meantime because I'm trying to basically eat a big portion of salad with every meal I have um, so I can get my, is it my micro, macros or whatever, my nutrients in and also it means that I eat less of the bad stuff and have at least some veg and then salad alongside. Mike's the man with the plan. Uh, so as a uh, little random midweek treat we thought we'd get some fish and chips. Damn, look how big this is and this isn't even a large. The two. It's unbelievable. Why did they give us two pieces? No, because that's two like normal ones, not a large. Wow, that is huge. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I won't eat all of that. Is that what it takes to make you happy? Mmm. Did good. you put um, salt and vinegar on yours? A little sprinkle, but now I'm going to put properly on. I yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I literally took my eye for you two, for two seconds. And where do I find you? And the way I was concentrating. And then you just turned up with some camera. You make me feel like I'm like a crazy woman. I mean... What are they? I don't know. They look, they look nice. Just part of your new healthy eating routine, yeah? No, babe. I'm going to basically, I'm going to keep these in my house. Salad in one dish. I'm going to keep them in my house. They're, they, not, they're not making it home. I'll tell you that for they free. They are making it home. Babe, you know me. Remember the battle we had about the sweets the last time? You know the ones, right? You know the ones where they say, the tub, it's, just, it's on the tub price. Look how full <laughs> she packed it. <laughs> like, there's sweets to the bottom of this. Sadly, we forgot to get our own snacks, so we had to pay cinema prices. <laughs> <laughs> you know, date night treats, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's go watch this film. We'll give you our review afterwards. Yeah. Revenant. Alright, just finished the movie now. And Emosh. It was, what can I say, it was very gruesome. Maybe a little bit longer than it needed to be. See, the one word that just summarises the whole film is just <laughs> struggle. pure struggle. It's just struggle. Pure struggle. Permanent struggle, mate. Yeah. It was good, it was definitely very good. The scenery was sick as well. Made it back home now guys, it is super late so we're going to crush out and call it a night. Thanks for watching, uh, we're going to drop in some clips as well of some other stuff that's been going on of the past, over the past few weeks so um, you can check that out as well. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time, bye. Go, go. But today is actually my birthday, I'm 29 years young, young. yes honey, yes. Honey. yes. <laughs> This is what 29 <laughs> looks like.
You gotta thank the loud Jesus, not a wrinkle and side cheeks so puffy. We thank the Lord. Um, it's my birthday today, and I was like, no, I have to vlog today. My sister's come around. Hey, Hi. um, we're going. She's got me a 3D ultra scout sound 4D scan and the thing in my bob. So we're gonna go do that. And Patricia comes with the trademark morning ashy lip. Why? And then you might see that I have a new modern cool brace. Look at this. It's like my X Men brace. <laughs> dabbing on y'all. Dabbing. Hey. And then I'm just opening all my birthday cards and presents. So thank you to all my family. Mike's parents, they know me well. We should all be feminists, so. And I like a little book like this, just a young little one that you can just read. And then I'm just excited because Maureen's got her secrets planned for me. Yes, for Saturday. For, wow. for, the, for the weekend, so. Today, we are gonna go, oh, I look so ashy. But today we are gonna go do a scan. We actually need to leave in the next 15 minutes, so. Yeah. Please believe I just walked out of this house, like, yeah, come on, let's get in the car, let's go to remember that my car is actually in the garage. There is no car. I looked around, I was like, where's the car? We have no car here. Um, fail. So I just called an Uber who should be here in four minutes to pick us up. Yeah. What did you do with your wrist? I broke my metacarpal. Oh, that's really warm. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> what I did. Oh, that's really warm. Just came out of the Ultra Sound Clinic. We are just in a car now. They don't let you film. Literally nowhere medically, nowhere medically lets you film anything. They just go really spazzo about it. But in the meantime, the pictures are really good. Have a look. Look at this picture. Baby is actually smiling. How adorable is that? Like. So we are about to go on a little husband and wife morning exercise mission. It's actually, it's actually quite a nice day outside. It's not. For once, right? Well, I say nice day. Probably that's pushing it a little I think bit. It's not ice cold. It's not ice cold and it's not pouring with rain. So that classifies as a nice day. So we're gonna go to the park. Um, exercise buff guru over here, Patricia Bright. You guys have to see my exercise gear. From what I gather, I'm not gonna claim to be an expert in this area, but it is good to still keep relatively active. Not obviously oh, intense, but during pregnancy to help you with your overall uh, back pain and stuff like that, innit? Yeah. And I do have, what's this thing called? Pelvic girdle play, pain, yeah, which is basically where you get pain in this region when you're pregnant. So Michael actually brought me this support band. He brought it to me from work. So obviously it looks strange. I've got my like Nike t-shirt on and my Nike dry fix and I've got my support thing, but it really does help with just like lifting the pressure, lifting off, right? the pressure off and yeah. then like compressing it. And it just gives me a little bit more mm. firmness in my hip area. This is what the belly looks like when um, it's wrapped up and ready to go. Say sorry. We made it to the park now and uh, workout is in full session. Patty's leading the way there. I'm struggling to keep up at the moment. She's just storming off into the distance. Absolutely just bolting away. So I've got to try and catch up. Hello. Hello, sexy. One thing I will say, you have been blessed with staying in good shape, to be fair. Oh You've been eating clean, though. You've been eating well. Yeah, I've been all right, yeah. Yeah. Should we do some step-ups and stuff, honey? Yeah, we'll do some step-ups. Yeah. Put your arm as well. The opposite arm. Let's get to my back. Yeah. Which one are you going with first? This one. Yeah. Ooh. Hips are hurting now. Really not. <laughs> 